Thank you for sticking with Fox 14. I'm Kyla Scott. And I'm Stephen Pappas. Topping our second half hour on Fox, a local animal shelter is urging people to be more mindful when it comes to their pets during the hot weather. Fox 14's Valerie Moravi gives us insight on how you can also protect your pets. That's right, Kyla. As high temperatures rise, the Humane Society of Adopting Center is using all the resources to keep their dogs safe. Just like humans, dogs get also uncomfortable in high temperatures. An untreated heat-related illness can do severe damage. If your dog has health issues, it's even more important that you keep them cool. The Humane Society Adopt and Center shelters over 100 dogs. When the shelter saw the forecaster temperatures for this week, they knew they needed to act fast. Shelter director Terry Matthews says they're trying their best to protect the dogs with what they have. The other thing that we do a lot here is we stuff, um, you know, the Kong toys. We stuff those with peanut butter um, and then freeze them. With it being cold, it also helps keep their temperature down. Without the fans and the pools and the different things to cool them off, dogs overheat extremely quickly. A heat stroke can come up on a dog in a matter of minutes. Matthew says it is crucial to keep in mind signs of heat stroke. If they start panting really heavily, um, you'll start seeing them drool a lot. Their tongue will change color and the white of their eyes will turn bright red. And when that happens, you know that they're like in a full on heat stroke and that's an emergency. A local resident says she keeps fresh cold water accessible at all times. A lot of people that aren't aware that you, you really need to let your dogs have a lot of water. I mean, have them in different places of the house, outside. The hottest part of the day, if you can, bring them inside. Keep them in an area that is air conditioned and has fans. Matthews also recommends if you see your dog uh, is overheating and you're trying to cool it down, make sure you do it slowly and not just throw it in a tub full of ice water or you could put it into shock. Reporting live in the studio, I'm Valerie Moravi for your weather station. All right, thank you so much, Valerie. On the crime beat, Monroe police are searching.